Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. It has been so long since I've been able to say that intro. I have been gone for a little while, but now we are back as well as the Miata. The Miata is 100% back in working order. Basically what happened is um, I went ahead and ordered the transmission parts, the new clutch, new flywheel, and everything came in and I decided let's go ahead and do it. Now, for some weird reason, I didn't go ahead and record it. I will go ahead and try to put pictures of my adventures of taking the transmission apart and putting it all back together. Um, I took a few pictures, but anytime you bring the camera out, the process takes way longer than it needs to. And basically I didn't have a lot of time to have everything recorded, have everything done. I wanted to get it done as soon as possible because if not, the Miata would have been sitting there for a long time. But now she is back, she is in working order, and I am happy to say that that money that I would have spent taking it to a shop and getting it fixed, now I can invest into the Miata, but more importantly in the Mustang, you guys can't see it, but it's in the garage, in the Mustang. For the basis of this video, uh, happy October guys. Um, <laughs> uh, this is my first video in October, which is really embarrassing, but this is my first video in October, and as you know, every single person on earth that owns a Miata decorates their Miata out for Halloween. They add fangs, they add a shower curtain, and uh, they turn it into a spooky Miata. And that is exactly what we are going to be doing today. So for today's video, what we have to do is we have to make fangs for the Miata. So I got a white piece of cardboard, I got an X-Acto knife, and we are going to cut out fangs, and we are going to zip tie them to the front of the Miata. Now, if anybody knows me and knows how clumsy I am with doing anything, uh, they know that cutting anything out precisely and making it look good, especially making it look even, uh, I am not that guy for that. So I'm gonna wait for my girlfriend to come over and she will be cutting it out and I will be that annoying person on camera recording her do it uh, and seeing how good it looks in the end when she puts it all together. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Uh, I am not 100% useless in this video today because we do have one more mod, not a super significant mod, but it is something that I feel like I can cover in this video and it should be able to make a huge difference to our Miata. Our mod, oh, let me get out from under the car. Getting out from this car because it is so low to the ground is actually pretty hard, believe it or not is I have went ahead and bought some license plate lights for the Miata. As you guys can see, all the other lights for the Miata are basically LED. I mean, I know I don't know about those at the bottom, but there's basically nothing because it's an air inlet. Uh, these are LED. The side markers have a nice orange line going through, so that looks pretty good to me. And, of course, it's the same deal on the back, so they kind of match. That was really cool. That was like that before I bought it. And I do have plans for the tail lights later on, but if you guys can tell right now, you can't even tell, uh, we have these boring yellow lights and during the nighttime they look completely awful. So I'll wait for my girlfriend Sandra to get here. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to open up the trunk, try to go ahead and figure out the license plate lights and then hopefully she'll be here and we can go ahead and decorate the Miata. Let's get to it. Okay, so first things first, uh, we have to open up the trunk and then we have to get into this panel that is behind the license plate lights are we have to open this panel up right here okay so that was pretty easy enough I, there's a few clips uh there should have been four i only had three all right here um you just go ahead and remove those and then you can peel this part back and then the light bulbs are located in there you just twist them and pull them out easy stuff um and then go ahead and give it time to cool down that's very important if you guys saw my last uh interior light bulb install on my mustang i didn't let it cool down and my hand got burned viciously I've never seen a light that's so small, but has so many like things on it to make it so bright. Hopefully it's nice and bright, but let's go ahead and plug it up and then let's see if it lights up. And look who showed up just in time to see if the lights worked or not. Hello, say hi to the vlog. Hi. You ready to decorate the Miata? Yeah. Okay, so today we are only doing the fangs, but later on I do want to get the shower curtain or the bed sheet and I do want to do that because that's also cool and take a couple Instagram pictures. Also follow my Instagram, I'll have it right here. But uh. You excited? Mm -hmm. All right, so right when she was walking in is when I plugged him in and my theory is correct. So as you guys can see, after plugged in, uh, that one works. I did not have to reposition the wires at all. It is just simple plug and play. So that is really, really awesome. I'll have a link down for the bulbs that I got below so that you guys don't have to reposition the wires. Thank goodness. So that's what those look like. And now let me see the old ones. Bam, a huge difference. I'll plug them in in the car and then I'll probably get some nighttime shots to show you guys what the difference looks like. But that looks awesome. We done it. We are one step closer to modernizing the Miata. I want to make the Miata a nice modern looking roadster. Uh, one of the things that I, I am going to do later on is I do want to add one of those double-din uh, touchscreen radios 
and a better sound system and an amplifier and everything but uh yeah i just want to make this a nice modern mayata and now that pretty much all of the lights are led we have done that and i'm super excited okay so how much research or how much do you know what you're doing because leading up to this i'll be completely honest i have done zero research and i have no idea how to do these they look very easy it's just literally just triangles, triangles. Well, i was never good at cutting triangles when i was a child but yeah guys one more look at them with them plugged in nice way better than what they were before and yeah let's get started on decorating the mayata Okay, so Sandra has, has successfully cut the first piece, and we still don't know if we want to use it yet. Um, put it up there and see what it'll look like. I'm gonna try to come back. I like that. If you want, I can hold it up, and then you can come look at it and see what you think. We have to like get a hole in the middle and zip tie it to the top. I believe. I believe. It would go right about right here. No, that way a little bit. What? But that's where the zip ties at. Well, that's like in the or middle. Is it this yeah, one? Yeah, like right there. Maybe like a little bit wider. Whatever you think. It is our first one, so this is what trial and error is for. Okay, I like let's, it. Let's try it a little bit wider. Okay. Once again, the reason why I picked you for this is because the car is half hours. So I did the license plate lights. I want you to do the fangs. And anytime Christmas time comes around and you wrap presents, you wrap them perfectly every time. And I just literally give them the present with no wrapping. Yep. So, <laughs> so I'm, I'm automatically ruled out. Okay, so here's the, here's the new addition. Here's the new rendition. Made it a little bit wider. Uh, hopefully it's a lot better. Wait, let's see. Let's see. Huh? Huh? I like that one. You like this one? Mm-hmm. All right, let's go ahead and cut another one, and then we'll find a way to zip tie it. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, mom, say hi to the camera. Hey. Okay, so you know it's October and you know Halloween's coming up soon, right? All right, so you know how people dress up for Halloween, right? Yes. We decided to dress up the Miata. Follow me, follow me. Okay, so this is our first time doing this, so we're not professionals, but I think it came out pretty good, all right? You know, she hasn't seen it yet. She hasn't seen it yet. <laughs> we decorated the Miata. <laughs> Oh gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it. You can't We're probably gonna leave it till Halloween if there's nothing wrong with it, or if it stays on, they might, it might just fly off in the wind. But what do you cute, think? Huh? <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> now it's ready for Halloween. Who finds out with you, Sandra? We saw it on the internet. Oh. Everyone with the Miata is doing it, so we decided, hey, let's do it too. It's the whole part of having a Miata. I like it. What do you think? Of? You think we did a good job? I oh, think wait, I have an idea. Yeah? Come back here and tell me if it looks good. No? No, it looks too much like a jack-o'-lantern that way. I want to look like a vampire, not a jack-o'-lantern. Look at this. If you see this coming in your rear view mirror, you just get out the way. You did good. We did pretty good. So the Mayada is decorated now for Halloween. Halfway anyway. We still got some more stuff planned for it. Uh, successful first day. And we got the license plate lights. Oh yeah, Mom, come here. Come, come look at the back. This is not something that she's probably going to care about. But I, I still have to brag that I was able to do it successfully. These lights are now LED. Oh. So instead of it being the boring yellow, now That's that they are. Get on the mail. Yeah, I, I had to wait two weeks because it came from China. And, uh, but they work. And we don't know for how long, but we know that they work. So it's good. But yeah guys, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, we made the Miata more modern by some adding some license plate lights and we made it look a lot cuter with those fangs. We got it ready for the Halloween season. Now if it can only get a lot colder, it was hot all day. So it either rains and it's a little bit cold or it's just hot all day. And it makes driving a Miata as a convertible just that much harder. But yeah, I like doing these cute kind of videos. I think uh, they're really nice, they're really creative. And uh, yeah, they're pretty much... It's good stuff for reactions. Maybe another video will be uh, us getting reactions of people with the things. I feel like that'll be really cool. Uh, but we'll see. So, like, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And, say peace. Yeah.